in his latest Rafale offensive. Congress President Rahul Gandhi launched an attack on Prime Minister Narendra Modi and said that there were parallel negotiations conducted by the PMO with the French side. Chokidar, chor hai. That the Defence Ministry itself is saying that the Prime Minister is conducting parallel negotiations. The Prime Minister has stolen 30,000 crores of your money, bypassed the pro process and given it to his friend Mr. Anil Ambani. Rahul Gandhi was alluding to a report published in The Hindu which quoted a Defence Ministry note raising objections to PMO's meddling which weakened India's negotiating position. In the Air Force, generals, pilots, it is written clearly here that the Prime Minister of India is a thief. He has stolen 30,000 crores from you. The Defence Ministry is objecting to his interference. Mr. Anil Ambani is his man and Mr. Anil Ambani has been given 30,000 crores of your money. Now, let me just break down the report for you, which has been written by senior journalist N. Ram. It talks about PMO carrying out parallel negotiations with the French side. Hindi, it talks about these parallel negotiations, which led to weakening of India's negotiating position. The note was brought to the notice of then Defence Minister Manohar Parikar. The note has been undersigned by then Defence Secretary G. Mohan, and Deputy Secretary S.K. Sharma. This is the officials and uh, up, going up to the Defence secre uh, Secretary. Uh, and they clearly say these are parallel negotiations which undermine our negotiating position. Seriously, Abdin Sulirka. They have said Manohar Parikar's role has to be separately investigated. So we have uh, reproduced only one part of that uh, document, not all the documents. However, one thing that this report does not mention is Manohar Parikar's reaction. Manohar Parikar had reacted to this note in 2015 itself, calling it an overreaction. After Rahul Gandhi attacked Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman launched a counter-attack on Rahul Gandhi and said that all the questions have been answered thoroughly and transparently. Every question on Rafael is over and done with, answered. They are flogging a dead horse. They are flogging a dead horse. The newspaper and the opposition party. Meanwhile, the then Defence Secretary also issued a statement and has said that the note had nothing to do with the pricing. And Air Marshal SBP Sinha, who was the head of the negotiating team, has said that the remarks of the Defence Minister are not there in the report. The drama in Karnataka continues as the BJP MLAs, including B.S. Yadurappa, staged a walkout during the budget speech. The budget day itself started with a number of explosive revelations, with Kumar Swami claiming in a press conference that Yadurappa has offered a ministerial berth to a JDS MLA. He also alleged that Yadurappa has booked the Assembly Speaker with Rs 50 crore. However, Yadurappa has denied all the allegations against him and he has said that if the audio clips implicating to be him are found to be true, then he will quit the party. Pardon? There is no truth in it. Meanwhile, CLP leader Sidramaya has said that the party will petition Speaker Ramesh Kumar to disqualify the four MLAs who did not turn up for the CLP meet and the budget session, despite the party issuing whips. Team India won the second T20 international against New Zealand and skipper Rohit Sharma became the highest run getter in the T20 international. Two avalanches hit Kulgam and Anantnag districts of Kashmir on Thursday evening. While two people have been rescued from Kulgam, two people lost their lives in Anantnag. BSP chief Mayawati may have to deposit public money used for erecting statues of herself and elephants, the party symbol, at parks in Lucknow and Noida to the state exchequer, said Supreme Court as it took note of a plea. At least 12 people have died in Roorkee after consuming illicit liquor. 13 excise officials have been suspended in connection with the case. Similar incident of deaths have been reported from Uttar Pradesh's Saharanpur and Kushinagar. For more news and updates, log on to thequin.com. You can also like, share and subscribe.